Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, here we go again. Just when you think Meghan and Harry have hit rock bottom, they somehow managed to sink even lower. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have just announced two, count them, two, new docuseries coming to Netflix. And let me tell you, these are real doozies. First up, we've got The Duchess Delights, a series that's apparently going to give us a look into Meghan's passion for cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. Gee, I can hardly contain my excitement, because what the world really needs right now is another glimpse into the lavish, out-of-touch lifestyle of a privileged royal who's desperately trying to rebrand herself as the next Martha Stewart. I mean, really, do we need to see Meghan whipping up gourmet meals in her $14 million Montecito mansion? Is that supposed to resonate with the struggling families who are doing everything they can just to put food on the table these days? And let's not forget the friendship angle. I'm sure that'll be a heartwarming tribute to Meghan's deep, meaningful bonds with her A-list celebrity pals like Oprah and the Cloonies. Heaven forbid we get to see the actual friends she's ruthlessly discarded the moment they stop being useful to her. But wait, there's more. The second series is all about the thrilling world of professional polo, because what better way to connect with the common folk than by shining a spotlight on a sport that's synonymous with the wealthy elite? I can just picture it now. Manicured lawns, extravagant parties, beautiful people sipping champagne, and looking down their noses at the rest of us. And of course, this series has a special connection to the oh-so-relatable Prince Harry, who apparently loves to play polo, because nothing says, man of the people, like in joining the sport that requires thousands of dollars worth of equipment and horses. It's the same tired pattern we've seen time and time again from this power-hungry couple. Take something mundane and ordinary, like cooking or gardening or polo, and turn it into a vanity project that allows Meghan and Harry to bask in the spotlight and perpetuate their carefully crafted image as global icons. Never mind that regular people can't remotely relate to their lavish lifestyles and out-of-touch hobbies. No, it's all about Meghan and Harry and their desperate need to convince the world that they're just like us. And let's not forget the broader context here. This is all part of the Sussex's lucrative deal with Netflix, a deal that was struck under the guise of inspiring change and giving a voice to the voiceless. Yet what have we actually seen so far? An intimate, self-indulgent docuseries that was little more than a carefully curated PR stunt. And now, two more shows that are clearly designed to burnish Meghan and Harry's image and further cement their status as global celebrities. It's disgusting, really. While the rest of the world grapples with the fallout of a global pandemic, skyrocketing inflation, and the very real threat of war, these two are content to sit in their ivory tower and churn out content that's little more than glorified vanity projects. And they have the audacity to present it as some grand, important endeavor that's going to change the world. Sorry, but I'm not buying it. This isn't about making a difference or giving a voice to the marginalized. This is about Meghan and Harry's insatiable need for attention and validation. They crave the spotlight like oxygen, and they'll stop at nothing to get it, even if it means exploiting their own family members or shamelessly flaunting their wealth and privilege. And the truly sickening part is, there are still people out there who will eat this up. They'll lap up every carefully curated moment, every meticulously orchestrated photo op, every hollow platitude about compassion and service, They'll convince themselves that Meghan and Harry are brave, trailblazing icons who are speaking their truth and changing the world. But I see right through it. I see the calculated manipulation, the naked self-aggrandizement, the transparent attempts to rehabilitate their tarnished image. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the lies, the hypocrisy, the shameless self-promotion. Enough is enough. Because make no mistake, this isn't just about a couple of out-of-touch royals trying to stay relevant. No, this is a sinister, carefully orchestrated plot to undermine the British royal family and seize power for themselves. Meghan, the true mastermind behind this whole operation, is hellbent on destroying the monarchy and replacing it with her own twisted vision of a celebrity-driven, social media-fueled dystopia. And Harry, he's nothing more than her puppet 
a once proud prince who's been reduced to a simpering, spineless yes-man. Megan has him wrapped around her little finger, manipulating him with her crocodile tears and false promises of a better life. She's convinced him that the only way to find happiness and fulfillment is to turn his back on his family and embrace the celebrity lifestyle. It's a disgusting betrayal of everything the royal family stands for. But Meghan doesn't care. She's blinded by her own ambition and desperate need for attention. She'll stop at nothing to get what she wants, even if it means destroying the very institution that once welcomed her with open arms. And the worst part is, she's succeeding. With each new Netflix show, each tell-all interview, each carefully curated social media post, Meghan is chipping away at the public's trust in the monarchy. She's painting herself as the victim, the brave outsider who's standing up to the evil royal family. And sadly, there are plenty of people out there who are all too willing to buy into her narrative. But I won't be one of them. I refuse to be silenced or cowed by Meghan's manipulative tactics. I'll keep calling her out, exposing her lies, and shining a light on the ugly truth behind her and Harry's shameless self-promotion. Because someone needs to stand up and say what everyone's thinking. Enough is enough. It's time we stop giving these two the attention they so desperately crave. It's time we stop falling for their carefully crafted narratives and hollow platitudes. It's time we focus our energy on the real issues facing the world, the real people who are struggling and suffering. Because that's where our attention should be, not on the vanity projects of a couple of spoiled, entitled royals. So let's do it, folks. Let's show Meghan and Harry that we won't be fooled by their disgusting master plan. Let's boycott their Netflix shows, unfollow their social media accounts, and make it clear that we're not interested in their self-serving, attention-seeking antics. Let's put the spotlight back where it belongs, on the real heroes, the real changemakers who are actually making a difference in the world. Enough is enough. It's time to take back the narrative and show Meghan and Harry that their reign of terror is over. Let's do it for the sake of the monarchy, for the sake of the royal family, and for the sake of the truth, because the future of the British throne depends on it. So, what do you guys think about this news, guys? Sounds off in the comment, and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.